clusters flowing underneath it, with all kinds of fruit for him therein. And old age hath stricken him, and he hath feeble offspring, and a fiery whirlwind striketh it, and it is all consumed by fire. Thus Allah maketh plain his revelations unto you, in order that ye may give thought. O ye who believe, spend of the good things which ye have earned, and of that which we bring forth from the earth for you, and seek not the bad with intent to spend thereof in charity, when ye would not take it for yourselves, save with disdain. And know that Allah is absolute, owner of praise. The devil promiseth you destitution and enjoineth on you lewdness. But Allah promiseth you forgiveness from himself with bounty. Allah is all-embracing, all-knowing. He giveth wisdom unto whom he will, and he unto whom wisdom is given, he truly hath received abundant good. But none remember except men of understanding. Whatever alms ye spend, or vow ye vow, lo, Allah knoweth it. Wrongdoers have no helpers. If ye publish your almsgiving, it is well. But if ye hide it and give it to the poor, it will be better for you and will atone for some of your ill deeds. Allah is informed of what ye do. The guiding of them is not thy duty, O Muhammad, but Allah guideth whom he will. And whatsoever good thing ye spend, it is for yourselves, when ye spend not, save in search of Allah's countenance. And whatsoever good thing ye spend, it will be repaid to you in full, and ye will not be wronged. Arms are for the poor, who are straitened for the cause of Allah, who cannot travel in the land for trade. The unthinking man accounteth them wealthy because of their restraint. Thou shalt know them by their mark. They do not beg of men with importunity. And whatsoever good thing ye spend, lo, Allah knoweth it. Those who spend their wealth by night and day, by stealth and openly, verily their reward is with their Lord, and there shall no fear come upon them, neither shall they grieve. Those who swallow usury cannot rise up save as he ariseth, whom the devil hath prostrated by his touch. That is because they say, trade is just like usury, whereas Allah permitteth trading and forbiddeth usury. He unto whom an admonition from his Lord cometh, and he refraineth in obedience thereto, he shall keep the prophets of that which is past, and his affair henceforth is with Allah. As for him who returneth to usury, such are rightful owners of the fire, they will abide therein. Allah hath blighted usury and made almsgiving fruitful. Allah loveth not the impious and guilty. Lo, those who believe and do good works and establish worship and pay the poor due, their reward is with their Lord. And there shall no fear come upon them, neither shall they grieve. O ye who believe, observe your duty to Allah and give up what remaineth due to you from usury if ye are in truth believers. And if ye do not, then be warned of war against you 
from Allah and his messenger. And if ye repent, then ye have your principle without interest. Wrong not, and ye shall not be wronged. And if the debtor is in straitened circumstances, then let there be postponement to the time of ease. And that ye remit the debt as almsgiving would be better for you, if ye did but know. And guard yourselves against a day in which ye will be brought back to Allah. Then every soul will be paid in full that which it earned, and they will not be wronged. O ye who believe, when ye contract a debt for a fixed term, record it in writing. Let a scribe record it in writing between you in terms of equity. No scribe should refuse to write as Allah hath taught him, so let him write. And let him who incurreth the debt dictate, and let him observe his duty to Allah his Lord, and diminish naught thereof. But if he who oweth the debt is of low understanding, or weak, or unable himself to dictate, then let the guardian of his interests dictate in terms of equity, and call to witness from among your men two witnesses. And if two men be not at hand, then a man and two women, of such as ye approve as witnesses, so that if the one erreth through forgetfulness, the other will remember. And the witnesses must not refuse when they are summoned. Be not averse to writing down the contract, whether it be small or great, with record of the term thereof. That is more equitable in the sight of Allah, and more sure for testimony, and the best way of avoiding doubt between you, save only in the case when it is actual merchandise which ye transfer among yourselves from hand to hand. In that case it is no sin for you if ye write it not. And have witnesses when ye sell one to another, and let no harm be done to scribe or witness. If ye do harm to them 